ash, no ash, no ash, no ash, no ash, no ash. Hey guys, welcome back to the Style and Beauty Doctor on YouTube. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about an important topic. Some people get a little crazy when you mention that people with deeper skin tones should be wearing sunscreen. Like, I mean, I delete the comments, but I'm going to pray for, for some of y'all. Today, we're going to be talking about sunscreens that don't leave that white cast on the skin. So sunscreens that don't make you ashy. Because here's the thing. If a sunscreen is gonna make you look like Ashy Larry and it feels like you just put a whole vat of lard on your skin because it's so greasy, who's gonna wanna wear that? So in this video, I'm gonna give you some demos on some sunscreens that won't make you ashy and we'll talk about some other sunscreen tips that you need to know. So sit back, relax, and keep watching. Let go. So there are a couple of topics that we also need to discuss in this video. So one being like, what's up with the sunscreens leaving the white cast? Like why, why we gotta be ashy out here? Typically when you see that like white cast on your skin, it's usually from a physical sunscreen. It's the active ingredients in physical sunscreen such as zinc oxide or titanium dioxide that's causing the, the ashen. So there are two types of sunscreens, physical, and chemical. So there are many differences between the two. Um, I can't really say that one is better than the other because that's going to depend on you. Chemical sunscreens tend to not leave that white cast. There are some, <laughs> there are some uh, chemical sunscreens that can leave that white cast just as there are some physical sunscreens that don't leave the white cast. We'll talk about that in the video. But with both you want to make sure that you are using the sunscreen liberally all over your skin, not forgetting places like in between your fingers, in between your toes, behind your ears, in your scalp. I have a video on scalp sunscreen that I will link to that you can watch on my IGTV. Basically what I'm saying here is, you know, when you're wearing sunscreen, whether it be a physical or a chemical sunscreen, to make sure that you're applying it liberally and you're getting like literally every inch of your body. Because the sun's rays will be like, oh yeah? Haha, <laughs> I found a spot. Now, if you want to know more about the differences between physical and chemical sunscreens, I will leave a link because there are, you know, a lot more. I'm trying to keep this video kind of concise, so I will leave a link where you can find out more of the differences between physical and chemical sunscreen. Now, another topic we need to talk about is broad spectrum. So, physical sunscreens are typically naturally broad spectrum, meaning that they block both UVA and UVB rays. For chemical sunscreens, you want to make sure that it's listed on the label that it is broad spectrum, which means that it blocks both UVA and UVB rays. So now you're like, okay, but what the heck is a UVA and a UVB ray? Ultraviolet A rays are the sun's rays that penetrate deep into the skin and they cause long-term damage to the skin. So the skin is made up of many different components one of which is collagen, and collagen is a protein that is responsible for keeping the skin taut and nice. Now, collagen breaks down naturally as we age, right? And there are things that we can do to kind of help boost that collagen production. But one of the biggest culprits to make that process happen a little faster when the, collagen, the breakdown of the collagen is sun exposure. Now, if I have not said anything in all the years, and I'm pretty sure I've even said this about sunscreen, but you know, sometimes you gotta say things a bunch of times, people get it, and then there's new people, and they, you know what I'm mean? saying? So if anything I've ever said, the reasons why you should be wearing sunscreen did not click, the collagen <laughs> breaking down as a result of sun exposure should be one that'll kind of make you be like, oh, I should probably put on some sunscreen because Danielle said. Then the other type of rays are the ultraviolet B rays. So those are the ones that kind of burn on the surface. So those are the ones that give you the sunburn and, you know, make the skin look darker in color. Obviously, on deeper skin tones, the, our skin is not going to burn as quickly as people with lighter skin tones. And that's not to say that we don't burn. A friend of mine who I've known for years and I've been telling her for years to put sunscreen on and she went to the pool and did not wear sunscreen and here's a text message that she sent me where she said, D, you were right, I am never not wearing sunscreen ever again. Another thing that we need to briefly talk about is sun protection factor or SPF. So some people, and I can understand where this reasoning might come from because you know, if you take 15 and you double it, you get 30. But the difference between SPF 15 and SPF 30 doesn't mean that SPF 30 gives you double the protection of 15. And then an SPF 30 versus an SPF 50 
doesn't mean that the 50 is like exponentially better. It's only like a 2% difference between SPF 30 and an SPF 50. And you also need to be reapplying your sunscreen. Sunscreen tends to break down when you sweat, with oil. If you're going into the water, you need to reapply your sunscreen immediately. So make sure you are reapplying as well. All right, so let's get into our sunscreen test. Now, before I even get into this test, I'm only testing a couple for the sake of time, but if you want a full list, because I have been testing sunscreens for years, I will link that in the description box and you can check out my full list of sunscreens that I've tested over the years. Your favorite may not show up here because maybe I tested it before and sunscreens expire, so obviously I couldn't keep it because what's the sense of keeping it if it's no longer effective, you know? Okay, so first let's talk about facial sunscreens. Now, a lot of moisturizers also offer sun protection and it's important that you put enough on your face. Make sure you get it all over in the hairline, in your scalp, or you, Again, I have a video on scalp sunscreen that you can check out so you can see some options for your scalp. Make sure you get it on your ears, behind your ears, and I normally put my body sunscreen on my neck and chest just because like <laughs> typically my facial sunscreens are more expensive than the body ones and I'm like I just want to use this on my face. Um, but you also want to make sure that you're protecting your neck and chest as well with some sunscreen. This is a new favorite. This is the Olay Sun Shine Protection SPF 35. So this is straight up sunscreen. So you can either use this on top of your moisturizer or you can use it on its own. I like this because it melts right into the skin. See your makeup last longer as well. See it absorbs right into the skin. It helps with shine protection, but non-ashy. It helps control shine. It also works like a makeup primer because it helps your makeup last. I have a wear test on this in Tulum, so make sure you check that out in the description box. And this one I like because you can find this at any drugstore. You can get it on Amazon. Sometimes I like to check the Amazon prices because sometimes you can get things cheaper on Amazon. But make sure you're buying from the brand. I make sure I buy directly from the brand because I don't want to buy from some random seller somewhere because then it's like, I don't know what you did with that. Let's try out two more facial sunscreens and then we'll move on to body. So this one is the Murad Age Balancing Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So this is something that I would probably use more when the weather is a little bit cooler out, probably more like towards winter. I put a little bit too much on my arm, but even putting too much, you see it's like, it blends right into the skin. Then we have the Olay Regenerous Whips SPF 25. So this is something that's super lightweight. They have this in the Luminous Whips SPF 25 form too. And it gives like a little kind of blurring action on the skin um, that helps, you know, your makeup stay on longer, works like a primer. You know, wearing makeup gives the skin like a really nice look. So this also, boom, disappears into the skin. All of these are lightweight. This one hydrates a little bit more than the others do, but it's still, you know, it's not something that's gonna feel super heavy. Obviously it depends on what time of year you're using it, uh, what the weather's doing, and your skin type. Now let's move on to body. So I like the Neutrogena Beach Defense SPF 70. This one offers water plus sun protection, but you also wanna make sure that even after you get out the water, you reapply your sunscreen, because the water will just break it on down. This one has a really nice smell to it. Not put too much again, but even in putting too much, we can still see that there is no ash. Now when you're putting sunscreen on your body, you wanna put about a shot glass full for your entire body and about a nickel size amount for the face. It smells really good. So I also like Walgreens <laughs> brand. I feel like Walgreens, this is like a Walgreens dupe for the Neutrogena Beach Defense. This is also something that is, it doesn't have quite the fragrance of the Neutrogena, but it has a nice fragrance and it's very similar. Blends right into the skin. And typically you can get like a Walgreens. I got this one like buy one get one half off or something crazy like that. And it also no ash, no ash, no ash, no ash, no ash, no ash. And then like sometimes you want like a sunscreen to do, you know, give you a little bit extra. So Hawaiian Tropic and the Super Goop oil, Super Goop sunscreen oil is something that I like for like, you know, you want that like shine on your legs or on your arms or on your neck. Like and of course this kind of rubs right in. And then this one from Hawaiian Tropic, it smells amazing, but it also gives, and now you're probably not gonna see the sparkles because 
it's going to be hard to pick up with the camera but this does offer a little bit of sparkle on the skin so like if you're out and you know you want your skin to look all glistening then you might want to go for the Hawaiian Tropic. So those were all chemical sunscreens that won't make you ashy. Now two physical sunscreens that I have personally tried that won't make you ashy. So there's this one from Ulta Beauty. This is the um, SPF 30 Broad Spectrum Mineral Face Stick. So this is something, it's a stick. It's not going to like it looks a little whitish when you first put it on, but once you rub it in, it blends into the skin. Now the other one, the other physical sunscreen that I've tried before that doesn't make you ashy is from Drunk Elephant. I no longer have it, but you know, make sure you check that one out if you're looking for something that's not going to make you ashy. And that is a physical sunscreen, like especially if you have more of a sensitive skin type. All right, so. Those were sunscreens that won't make you ashy. Now again, I have been testing sunscreens for years and they do expire, so once they expire, I do throw them out. So make sure you check out the description box. I'll have links to previous sunscreens that won't make you ashy that I have already tried out and linked to, so check that out in the description box. Also in the description box, I'll have things like, you know, this lovely headband, these cute earrings, this hair darling, like things like that will be linked in the description box. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what is your favorite sunscreen. Um, again, if you're someone who knows of more physical sunscreens other than the Ulta Beauty one and the Drunk Elephant one that I mentioned that won't make you ashy, please leave those in the comments um, below so that other people may look if people are looking for physical sunscreens that are not ashen. Follow me on social. I have the links in the description box. And I will see you fine folks in my next video. Bye, guys.